What's up, everybody? I hope everybody is having a good day. I hope that you are using this time wisely to build yourself, to maybe do something creative, flex those creative juices, those creative muscles on this are going to be doing today is we're going to be <clears throat> looking over this blog that just recently came out on the Native Instruments blog website uh, dated April 29, 2020, depending on when this comes out and when you watch this video. Um, we got five free vocal libraries for contact, and I'll include a link to this in the description, but no singer, no problem. No, I mean, that's the idea here. And what, um, what I've done is I've gone in and, and preloaded these and all of my libraries. I've gone in and downloaded all of these. So, um, you know, you don't have to go through that painful process. I'll show you how to load, um, you know, third-party contact libraries into contact. I'll show you how to, um, you know, load up native access and uh, get the serials going for the Sonic Couture. Um, tape choir, which honestly, it's pretty cool when you log into that website. It's not only tape choir that you get for free if you sign up. There's a ton of uh, freebies, and this is just one of them. So um, anyway, we're going to look at all of these free vocal libraries for contact. So I'm going to flip over to um, contact. And I'm going to load recent from my recent menu the entire time. That's the easiest way to do it if you've recently kind of looked at them. If you haven't recently kind of looked at them, oops, I just clicked on something random here. Um, if you really haven't recently loaded them, then what you need to do is you need to come in here to load and you need to go to your spot for contact libraries, right? That's what you need to do. And you come in here and load the NKI file. Right, you click on that, you hit open. Bob's your uncle, right? So, um, I'm going to not do that, I'm gonna do the easy, I'm gonna cheat, and I'm gonna go to load recent, <clears throat> and I'm gonna click on the first guy in the menu, Dave Choir. Here, now, this is the first one that comes up, it's on the cover. Um, decent samples, Dave Choir to create this highly focused vocal ensemble library, developer Dave. Record himself singing O's and Ah's 16 times over a total of 352 notes, then tune the resulting multi-sample bank into a playable choir. So, cool. Um, 22 separately sampled notes range down into the baritone register, and you can elect to play either sound on its own or both together, either layered or cross-faded with a mod. You guys can read these, right? I'm not going to read these verbatim, but you get some of the idea based on the description of what it is. And I'm going to set up my MIDI channels and start. Okay, so we have some controls. Uh, right now it's set to ah and O oh both together. Let's do the ah only and see. You get the idea. And we have a reverb and some attack, some ADSR controls. So pretty simple. If you crank the reverb, it cranks the overall volume of the instrument nicely. You can compensate for that and bring down the volume of the instrument.
really cool. Mod wheel, crossfade, just like it sounds. Rotate the mod wheel and it crossfades between the O's and the A ah sounds. Nice. If you just vibrate that, it sounds dope. Anyway, cool stuff on that first one. Let's look at um, <clears throat> the next one. That is the Ross Sound Vocal Morphs 2, built for de deployment in more cerebral styles of electronic music, IDM, cinematic, ambient. Vocal Morphs 2 compiles a variety of vocal loops and one-shots, uh, cut-ups, glitches, form and shifts, pure recordings, and more into a colorful and versatile instrument. And that's the impression that I got when I loaded it up, too. It's just, it's... It's got voices in it, yes, but that's not the feature of it or what sets it apart from some of the others. What sets this thing apart is that it's just got creative controls for the filtering, the LFOs, and all of the effects, as well as what vocal sounds are actually loaded into it um, that make it really unique. So... <laughs> That is fucking terrifying. It's incredibly terrifying. So terrifying. That is terrifying. <laughs> um, you could have hours of fun with that. Uh, Sonic Couture Tape Choir. This one's easy to load because it comes with a serial that you register with Native Access. And if you don't recall how to do that, then what you do is you load up Native Access and you go to Add Serial. We're just going to wait for this to upload. Ding, 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 ding. Fucking wait for this thing. All right. Well, while we wait for that thing, I'm going to load this up. Tape choir. And 
what you do is you come over here to native access, you go on the top left, you go add serial, and you fucking paste. That's what you do. It's very easy. You come over here to not installed. <clears throat> you go to browse on the individual libraries. You browse for your folders. Bob's your uncle. I just want to do this all day when I play with this. There's two different EQ settings. This one sounds a bit, sounds a bit kind of tapier. So, you know, you hear a little bit more tape quality to it, I think. fucking nice and look you get all sorts of other stuff too we'll dig into those another time but really really cool really cool um free stuff from sonic couture um so what's that that is uh three of them <clears throat> We got Sound Better Singers online session agency. Sound Better puts five of its superb for higher backing singers at your fingertips. That's basically what it is. You get a big control in the middle. Uh, you can kind of see a picture of who's singing the vocals, uh, which is kind of cool. And then you got a setting off to the right, which controls. So let's just load this up and show you. Uh, load recent Sound Beta. Sound Beta. And then pretty cool. Now this one, <clears throat> this could just be me, but this one to me sounds a bit like they just recorded one sample and stretched it out over the 12 or whatever it is notes. That's just what it sounds like to me. Some of the samples do sound a bit more unique, but as I flipped through this, um, it sounded to me a bit like it was kind of contrived on some of these notes. It's just me, personally. I bet if you slathered it with effects or if this is just a sound you're going for, uh, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, I'm just pointing that out. This kind of uh, just what it sounded like to me. Uh, so I'm going to flip over to Thomas. You can kind of see, Oh, look, uh, uh, he's got some more. Uh, so maybe his were a little more unique. You know, I noticed some of the singers had more, some had less. Uh, 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 So those are two definitely two different samples. So this one has maybe a few more unique uh, uh, samples. And especially when you choir them up like that, you get a bunch of them going at once. You can't even tell. Doesn't matter. Um, so cool stuff. Uh, uh, I still think it's badass. Uh, we got Jessica coming in in the middle. Scott. And then Jordy. How do I know it's Jordy? Because you got that version of his name over here. So it definitely has three eyes on the end. I question that for a sec. It just sounds good to me if you mash all of his down. Personally, as a choir, it's kind of cool. Maybe. 
maybe not all the minors, but all the majors for sure. Kind of cool. So that is Sound Better Singers. And then we have the closer, Ivy Audio, Claire Solo. This one sounds kind of cool. Um, definitely a solo. It's just one singer, solo artist. It sounds like it's not really quiet up, but it does have some tasty reverb on it, from what I recall. And the way it slides down to each note, I really love that. a tad in love with that sound love it um and yeah there we have it five free vocalists um so hope you guys have an awesome time on a sunday until next time <laughs>